going on everybody welcome back to RC Car Garage and we are back again with the WPL C74 now if you guys ended up seeing the last video for the C74 you all know that I put on the front bumper the rear bumper the <laughs> arches and the side scripts here on the bottom I also ended up redoing the drive shafts and I also flipped the axles on this guy now the issue that I was having, if you guys don't remember, is the winch. I had installed, connected the winch, installed it and everything. I was trying to get the wiring to spool back into the winch, but it wasn't working. I definitely had to get the Res V3. Now, when at that time I was looking at getting the Res V3, it was all out of stock and everything. So. I ended up getting a notification from WPL letting me know that the Res V3 was in stock. And if I had wanted it, I had to order it before Chinese New Year's. So I ordered it before Chinese New Year's and I am happy to say it is here. I honestly didn't think it was going to get here in time because of Chinese New Year, but it's here. So we are going to be putting it on and testing this guy out and see how this guy performs. So let's go ahead and open up the box. I really did not think this was gonna come in as fast as it did. So, right here you have, looks like on off switch there and Extenders, another connector here. So we'll put that to the side. So now we also have the speaker for the sound. We have the board here. And of course, we have the Res V3 controller. It does bring us. does bring us a manual for the uh, circuit board and it tells you everything on how to connect everything and what goes where uh, inside they were WPL was nice enough to send out some stickers <laughs> I guess these stickers just come with the res v3 uh, and they also send out some stickers here and some of these as you guys can see I think we're gonna need them. We'll find out. <laughs> so the controller, you guys, basically looks about the same as a stock controller that comes with the regular rigs. Uh, the only difference is basically you have your switch here. I'm guessing the switch here is for your winch. External device, so I'm guessing that's for the winch. You have your uh, Tuning right here, uh, the speaker, light button, uh, power lamp. Oh, that's just the light that shows that it's on. And if you have the two gear, two speed um, transmission, you're able to shift the gears on that button. Uh, what I'm also seeing on the controller here is if you press the top two buttons here, you're able to control a completely different vehicle. Hmm. <laughs> Good thing. Uh, of course, you have your steering, throttle. So yeah, it basically looks exactly the same as the stock one that comes with the rigs. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to start taking the body off of the chassis so I can get into the electronics that are on here and install the new electronics for the Res V3 and get this switch installed on this guy. Alright you guys, so I've been doing a little tinkering over here and I can say that everything is working perfectly. I already tested this thing out and everything is working just fine to the point that I did end up getting the uh, 
the line, the winch line to spool back in to place so I can connect it onto this guy. Now the one thing that I am definitely going to say is if you are planning on getting the Res V3 for your Suzuki Jimny, definitely follow the instructions that it comes with because that's going to be helpful. I can guarantee you that that's going to be helpful. Uh, there is also a YouTube channel, Edward RC, that you guys can also go check him out. And he actually explains on how to properly install everything. Uh, I did check out his video before I did this. I followed the instructions before I did this and everything works out perfectly. So, like I said, in the packaging, it did bring an on off switch and it brought a motor lead, but I didn't use them just for the main fact that I just reused the wire leads for the battery and for the um, motor that were already on here. So I didn't end up needing any of these or this one. This one is actually your battery lead, but I'm reusing the old one. So since I'm gonna be reusing the stock battery, if I end up deciding later to switch out to this one so I can use different batteries, then I'll end up doing that. But as of right now, I'm just gonna leave it the way it is and just use the stock wire they came on the Jimny. So let me show you guys over here what I did and how everything's connected. Um, I do have to be careful with moving stuff around because of the fact that wires are a little bit tight in here. So come, in, come over here and check it out. All right, you guys, so as you guys can see, the Res V3 is here installed. The wiring, that right there is for the battery. This one here is for the lighting. Uh, we have the speaker wire connected right back there. That was a little finicky. And we have here is the motor lead. That is the on off switch. And that one right here is for the power. Uh, we have the top right there. So we have this top one here. Uh, so this one right here is for the winch and that right there is for the servo so it's kind of hard to see it the way i have it laying here but again if you guys follow the instructions on here it explains everything to a t on how you do it now the one thing as you guys can see right here where it says car one car two switch you're going to want to make sure that you have it the uh, the switch on these two here because that is going to be for car one which I'm sorry it's backwards so the switch right there that my fingers pointing at you're going to want to make sure that you have it on the right side just like so so basically the way it has it right here so that is that extra third pin. The two pins are, is the one that you're gonna to wanna to put that connection to so you can use for the one vehicle. If you move it over there, that's for the two vehicle, second vehicle, this is for the first vehicle there. So I do highly suggest that you follow those instructions to a T to be able to get this thing working right. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna get the circuit board to sit in here properly. There is a hole in the circuit board that lines up with the hole where the other circuit board used to be. But the problem with that is, so the problem with having that same screw, which the same hole, which is right there, hopefully you guys can see it. That one hole right there, that little post, it's, that little post right there is where the screw goes in to hold it. And there is a hole in the board right there that's gonna screw into there. Now, if I go to use that hole, you can see that those guys right there are hanging out a little bit too much. So what I'm thinking of doing is getting some double-sided tape or something and basically just moving the whole circuit board over to the right 
right about there. So that way the leads for the sear for the servo and the winch are going to be able to fit in between the chassis there. So that's one of the things that I'm trying to figure out. Um, I kind of wish that WPL had those leads going up instead of coming out the side. It would have helped out a lot better, especially with the space that we have here. Um, I really don't want to cut anything into the chassis, but it looks like I might have to. So what I'm going to do is try to get the board on here and see how everything is going to work. So I got everything put back together again and I gotta say it was pretty simple again as long as you follow the instructions. Now I did end up putting the sound speaker right up here right where those vents are at because these vents are actually vented. <laughs> They're actually vented vents if you can imagine that. So I ended up putting the speaker right up there. I was thinking about putting it around over here somewhere on the sides, but that was the easiest spot to get to, knowing that I'd be able to put it there with double-sided tape and it not have any issues. So as soon as I find the controller here, we will turn this guy on and turn on the rig. As soon as you turn that on, the lights are flashing and you're gonna have to hit the button right here. So basically it binds. <laughs> I do not like the sound of those turn signals, man. Because I, first of all, I don't have turn signals. But it's all working fine. So it's gonna get loud for a second, but I'm gonna turn off the speaker. There we go. Turned off the speaker, a lot less quiet. And I gotta say, so far it's looking pretty dang good. So I am dying to see how this thing performs out on the course. Feels like the modulation is a little bit better. But one thing I do want to check out is the winch on this guy. So let's move you guys down here. And now the winch. Comes out nice and easily. Now I want to see if the winch will be able to handle the weight of the truck. So let's see if it'll lift up the front. Not bad. Let's take this guy outside and see how it runs now that everything is done on it. So let's go.
All right, you guys, so <laughs> I have no idea what the heck just happened. I'm trying not to slide here. This is all muddy, but um, I have no idea what just happened, but we're back in action again. Alright you guys, so as you just saw, for some odd reason this Res V3 um, basically cut out. I have no idea why it cut out, but it cut out for the second time. This battery is a fully charged battery that I have on there right now. And for some odd reason the Res V3 keeps cutting out. So as you guys can hear it now, check this out. This is all that it's doing. Um, I keep pressing the bind button. Nothing is happening. As you guys can see, I have the winch hooked up. That's what I was just doing. So I have the winch hooked up. That's what I was just doing, just winching it up so you guys can see how the winch works. And for some odd apparent reason, this is the second time that this thing just cut out on me. So I might have to get in contact with WPL to see what exactly is going on with it and why is it cutting out again for the second time. So I have everything hooked up the way it's supposed to be hooked up. Um, I just got to see what is going on with it. If not, I do have a Spectrum 2 in 1. Uh, ESC that I can put in here which was my original thinking of putting in here was that but I figured since I need the Res V3 to control the winch then I was going to get the Res V3 but as you guys just saw twice already once as it was climbing up and another one as I was using the winch it just cut out on me so I'm going to have to get with WPL to see what is going on. All right, you guys, so I have been doing a little bit of thinking with the Res V3, and I happen to remember that the Res V3 comes with these resistors on there. Now, I did end up seeing a video on YouTube from Edward RC, and he was actually talking about, on the title, it actually said to prevent uh, uh, cutting out, Res V3 cutting out to prevent it or something, and he added two of those resistors onto the motor. So. Uh, the motor does have a resistor on there. Hopefully, if I can find it, I know I just did. So hopefully you guys can see it right. It's in there, it's in there. So hopefully you guys can see it, but there is a, <laughs> there's a resistor in there. Now the resistors that I saw that he used, it said 104 on them. So I'm gonna find two 104 resistors on here I'm going to end up putting them on because I don't know about that one resistor, but he added two resistors to prevent the Res V3 from cutting out. So that is something I'm going to try. Now there's something else I'm going to try with it also. 
which is a cool feature that I ended up finding out about the Res V3. But that will end up being in, in another video. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't the way that I wanted it to turn out, but that's what ended up happening. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys in another video. You all keep our seeing. You all have a good one.